All right, my friends, so today we are doing, well, we're doing a video that uh, someone had actually asked a question on the last video, and I was like, hmm, that's, that's, actually, that's actually a good question. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to answer it. Now here, here's what the comment slash question was. I'm just gonna bring it up here on the screen. Only thing I don't like to this day is the fact that all the photos are stored in a single proprietary file, and I, and I get that. Not sure if it's possible to read it from a Windows machine or recover single photos in case the library, for whatever reason, gets corrupted. And, that, and that's completely fair because uh, photos, photo libraries can get corrupted. Without question, they can. And usually what happens is the database file inside them gets damaged. And so the database doesn't know where the images are so that when photos reads it, it just says, I, I, don't, I don't understand. So, we're gonna go in here, so just to show you guys, and this is gonna be hopefully quick, uh, how you can look at this. But I am gonna tell you this first. Don't go in here and just play when your library is working fine, right? If your library is working fine, do not do not do any of this because if we go in this way with a working library and decide to move a file or rename a file or delete a file or we play with something, uh, what happens again is the database then says, what's wrong i didn't leave the library this way and now it's changed so we must be corrupted and we don't we don't want that okay so this is kind of a do this if it's kind of last resort ish all right let's come back over here so on our computer we had talked about this in the previous videos is that of course your physical library is separated from the main software. So for me, it's in my pictures. So here it is right here, right? So there's my, there's my photos library right there. And if I were to double click on that library, the library would just open, all right? It would open up in the photos app. So if I double click, the application opens and off it goes. Perfect. But let's say I went to open it and it didn't open, or I wanted to be able to get files out of it to copy somewhere else, for instance, because for whatever reason, we're on a Windows computer and we have this photos library file. Now, this may be something you'd wanna do before because I'm not 100% sure how it would work on a Windows computer, but if you actually come here and right click or secondary click on it, you'll get your little menu that opens up and you'll see show package contents. This actually opens up that photos library and allows you to see what's in it. So as you can see, here's a database file, external originals. That's the one that we're looking for, originals, private and resources. So basically, if you double click on the originals, you can actually see, and, and it's dated a little weird. You kind of have to go in here, but you can see here's, here's all my images, right? So these are all the images. That's, that's a good looking one without question. Good looking fella, right? That's, that's basically all the files that are on here. So we could go in to that, just that originals folder. We could take that folder and copy it, copy it to an external hard drive or copy it to a flash drive or just put it somewhere. Once it's somewhere else, it's literally just the originals. Re realize that any modifications or organizations or anything that you've done in the photos library, that's not in there. This is just the original pictures that are here. So again, nice and simple. If you really wanted to just copy all your pictures, you could take this folder right here and just drag it, drag it to an external hard drive. And all of a sudden now you have all those original files. Again, all your organization is thrown out the window, but if you were to take this and drag it into another photos library, it would organize by date and time and all that kind of stuff. And if you were to just input this into Lightroom or go through it, whatever. It should do some basic organizing because the original still does have your date of creation, date it was shot, all the metadata file is in there, the camera that it used, et cetera, et cetera. So that's not going anywhere. That's in the originals, right? So it's, it's definitely a better scenario than having that file or that photos library get corrupted and you've lost everything. Nobody, nobody wants that. All right, guys, hopefully quick video, but gives you an understanding. That's probably the only folder in here that originals that I would ever touch ever. And it's only when that library really is either damaged or you want to take those originals and copy them. Now, again, copy them. Don't move them. If we copy them, we should be okay. If we move them, 
uh, the photos library is, is hooched. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Um, if you have any more questions on that, let me know. Other than that, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little bell. And we try to have these training videos come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. We try. Sometimes, you know, we get, we get behind because we're doing, we're doing the tech video stuff. But that's it. I'll leave you there, and we will see you guys uh, tomorrow morning. Later, my friends.